Okay, welcome. And it's already fourth week of June. So we can stop and listen to God. Go make time for God and go God's way every day. So to begin with, we will have our prayer. So you can post this video. And then we can see we thank the old God for our prophet. Okay, so we're going to sing. We thank the old God of her. For our prophet, so let's start. Okay, thank you for singing with singing our hymn. Okay, so we thank thee, O God, for our prophet. So that will be our lesson for today, the importance of the prophet. So, okay. Okay, so we can see in the picture that from this is the modern prophets or the record. Um, ito yung mga prophet na simula kay John Smith until to our living prophet na si President Russell M. Nelson. So our lesson can be found in Dragon Covenant section 67 to 70, for the riches of the whole earth. So we can see in the picture na. Ito yung prophet na nagsusulat ng mga commandments at that is revelation given by our Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. So the word of the word and the teaching of the scripture is like treasures. No? Malaking siya ang tulong sa atin ng blessing na ma that we will receive from abiding the laws and the guidance we can read on our scriptures. So today we're going to focus on the blessing covenant. Why and also learning the importance of the prophet. So we're going to play a video or to watch it together. So please uh, help uh, let us learn what is a prophet under importance. Okay, let me share the video.
So why do we have process? If we take a second to look around, we'll notice patterns everywhere. We can find them in nature and throughout history. Patterns can teach us about life and how things are created. They can even teach us about God and how God teaches us. Throughout time, God has followed a pattern to give us guidance and direction. He does this through prophets. Prophets are like a spokesperson for God, someone who receives the authority to act in his name and share his teachings with the world. You've probably read about prophets from the past, like Noah, Abraham, and Moses, who were called by God for a specific time in history to teach and guide his children. So what do prophets teach exactly? They teach us how to find happiness, how to be a good person, Prophets teach us how to keep our families safe and strong. But the main role of a prophet is to teach and testify of Jesus Christ and show us how we can better follow him, just as he did before. Today, God continues to follow a pattern of providing us with guidance and direction through prophets. These prophets are for us, for our world, with all its opportunities and challenges. Times certainly have changed, but the way God works hasn't. He still works through a pattern of calling prophets. Okay, that's our short video. So, so what do we learn about the prophets? Okay, so what do we learn from them? So we learn that God called prophets from the beginning of time. Okay, so we learn also that true prophets, God teaches us what how to live our lives, how to strengthen our family. So He speak us through the prophet, and the prophets uh, keep records on it. Okay, so other from that, priesthood also hold the priesthood power and authority from God. He preach, heal, baptize, and married, and so on. So they're the one can have the power to do this or authority to do that. And no one else. Behold this key. And they also receive revelations where we can read from the scripture. And we can also hear from our living prophets today like President Russell M. Nelson. So the work of God is, has never changed. His teaching will always be a blessing to every one of us, especially to our family. So the prophets also can see, we can learn also from the past, present, and future. So it will give us guidance, it will bless us, and warn us from dangers. So I'm thankful that I fully understand the importance of them, and they are representative of Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ to them. In Dark Covenant section 67, the Dark and Covenant contains, contains revelation from God. In November 1831, church leader decided to put Joseph Smith's revelation in a book for everyone to read. Today, those revelations are printed in the Dark and Covenant. So we have the Book of Mormon and we also have the Dark and Covenant where it was published in 1831. So it was Joseph Smith and the succession of a prophet who write, and this is a revelation in their time to know how to organize the church. Okay, this revelation helped us understand the importance of the restored gospel. What is called restored gospel? Because um, wicked men will, uh, because of our agency and some wicked people will not listen or will try to destroy his church and his teachings. So, from the time of Noah, Abraham, Moses, even Jesus Christ, they were rejected. And the power and priesthood and the revolution were, was lost. So, it need to be restore, restored by calling another prophet. First, he restored the, he restored the true church of Jesus Christ is on the earth again. So, we're blessed that we have, we have the church already in uh in our time so where we we know where we can go and to hear his true guidance and love 
Okay, so here, it's written here, a wicked men fill the prophets and corrupted the gospel and ordinances. Okay, so, but God has greater plan for us. By the humble prayer and faith of, of Joseph Smith, he called upon heaven to guide him. He was answered that the true church was not here on earth, but by him, it will be restored once again. He was given the revelation and also the priesthood power that he needs to, uh, to conduct and to perform the ordinances. Okay, priesthood, how we learned also in Jordan Covenant, how the priesthood to use it. It can also heal the sick. And tells us also about the importance of the Book of Mormon. It will strengthen our testimony. And it also teaches us to share to others our testimony, our faith, our love, and other needs of our fellow men. It teaches us the commandments of God. And the Drawing Covenant teaches, teaches the things to share those who share will be filled with the Holy Ghost. I know that when we share, our testimony will grow. And it will help us to become more like Him. To love and to care for those who are in need. Here we can see the printing of the Dorothy Covenant. It was Oliver Cowdery took copies of the Revelation to Missouri. He gave them to William Phelps to print it. And it was printed 3,000 co uh, 3, copies of books and finally published in 1835. Now we have a lot of copies of Book of Mormon from different kinds of languages. So during COVID-19 teach us also, we can be baptized when we turn to, uh, when we turn at the age of, yes, eight, eight years old. In Dog and Covenant section 68, 25, 28, the Lord told John Smith that children should learn to have faith in Jesus Christ, repent, and be baptized when they are eight years old. He also said that they should learn to pray and keep God's commandment. So, when we turn eight, we follow Jesus Christ by baptism and by immersion. We learn that we must take upon his name. Always remember him, keep his commandments, and ensure to the end. In Joint Covenant section 67, verse 4 and 9, the revelation given through Joseph Smith and through are true. So we'll learn also that all his teachings are coming from God. So if we have doubt, we can follow the example of Joseph Smith. We can read, ponder, and pray to know the truthfulness. And I know that God hears everyone who pray with sincere heart and good intent. In John Covenant section 16, uh, 67 verse 4, And now I, the Lord, give unto you a testimony of the truth of these commandments which are lying before you. So even Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ testify the truthfulness in a dragon cup Doctrine in the Doctrine, Doctrine and Covenants. So, we also have here in Doctrine Covenant section 68, verse 3 to 4, when our church leaders speak by inspiration, they speak the word of the Lord. When the Lord's servants speak by the power of the Holy Ghost, their words are the will, mind, word, and voice of the Lord. Knowing this truth can help, the ch can help you children want to listen and follow their teachings. So we know that we still have a living prophet until until this time. And he is, he is known by the name of Prophet Russell M. Nelson together with his counselor and apostles and all our church leaders. We know that their words and their teaching are coming from our Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. It will help us to know our divine potential, our purpose, and how to live our life to be more happy and content. And it helps us to become more like Him by 
serving him to go on a mission and to be aware of other needs. So that's all our lesson for today. I hope that we fully understand the importance of our prophet and our scripture like the Book of Mormon, the Doreen Covenant, the Pearl of Great Cross, and other um, scripture we have today like the Laihana. And we can also hear the words through videos by turning on the YouTube and other resources of our church where we can uh, know how to face our struggles and challenges in our time. Thank you for listening uh, in my lesson today. I hope that it inspires you. And I hope to see you again. So you can subscribe, like, and share, and leave a comment. Thank you, and see you next time. Bye-bye.